It ain't looking real good, but I won't give up. Pac said that I gotta keep my head up, so I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm standing right here. Demons all around, but I ain't got no fear. You can kick me around, but I won't stay down. I run this town, ain't backing down. We going them rounds. Yeah, the winds will blow, but these roots are deep. I'm on my feet, the underdog, and I won't be beat. In the fire now, but I won't be burned. I was waiting for this, and now it's my turn. Sweat on my face, blood in my eyes. Been underground, now I aim for the sky. Don't quit now, you can last longer. All these wounds only making you stronger. Don't give up now, yeah, you gotta climb. Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com, and today we're looking at the brand new plugin from MotionVFX, M Transition Paper Rip. To locate M Transition Paper Rip, once you've installed it via M Installer, it can be found in your transitions. M Transition Paper Rip comes with 52 really cool paper rip transitions, including seven custom transitions and 45 pre-animated transitions. To get a real-time preview of what these transitions are going to do, you can take your cursor and you can hover over the transition going back and forth so that you can see what it is that you're gonna be getting. All of these are really cool, really unique. I could definitely see these being a fantastic addition to M Music Video, but you can definitely use them in other styles of videos as well. So to apply, you can click and drag. Now you can drag in between two clips, or you can drive at the beginning or end of a clip and just let go to apply. If you would like to make your transition shorter or longer, you can grab the handles and you can adjust the transition as needed. And to look in the inspector, why don't we go ahead and we will click on our transition and then we can go over into our inspector to see what some of these parameters are. So you can see right here in this one, we are using pull apart horizontal transition. You can flip the tear if you would like. We have A freeze and then below you see B freeze. Now what this means is you have your A clip, which is going to be your first clip here and your B clip, which is going to be your second clip. If you would like to have them freeze frame, you just simply leave those checked and you can see what's happening here when I press play. We freeze and then we unfreeze into the next section. Now, if you don't want that, you simply toggle that check mark off on A and B or however you see fit. And then you can see that the video is going to play beneath both of those A and B frames. Now, if you want to add some colorization, you can do so under your A freeze as well as your B freeze here. And then we have our flash. So why don't we back up just a little bit and we can see that when we toggle that flash on and off, you can see what that's doing here. You can make changes to the opacity, hue, saturation, brightness, etc. You can also flip the flash if you need to here. And then below that, you see our film dirt that we can toggle on and off along with the different modes and opacities. So if you wanted something a little darker, you change that here. And then we have our grain, which we can toggle on and off. I really like the grain, especially with those flashes. It's really going to help hide a lot of things within that transition. So let's find another transition that we can apply. I really think that this stripes is really interesting here. So why don't we click and drag in between our two clips and then we will just use our arrow keys to see what's happening with this transition. See, we're just kind of ripping out, ripping back in, and then boom, into the next scene. Really, really cool. Again, over in our inspector, we have a whole new set of parameters. Each of these transitions are definitely going to have a unique set of parameters. So once you pick this up, be sure to check all of those out. But we have our paper stripes flip. We can have it at default. We can change that to horizontal. We can do vertical or we can do both. Default looks great to me. We have our torn paper shadows. If you want to make color adjustments, you can do so here. 
We can continue down and we can do the shadow color, shadow blur, etc. Continue to scroll down. We can make changes again to our A frame that you can see back there kind of in the background. So you see our video continues to play or we can make that just that still frame. And then again, on our B freeze, we can change that to just be the video if we would like. The freeze is a really, really cool thing for this because it's like you're cutting and it's like, oh, all of a sudden it's a piece of paper, it's a drawing or an image, and then it's going to release at whatever frame is that ending frame. And then it's going to also begin at whatever the beginning frame is. So why don't we check this out? I'm going to make this a little bit longer and you can see that now my ending frame is that last frame of the transition as well as my beginning frame. So it's automatically gonna do this for you. You don't have to go in there and change your frames around. You can just click it. You can click in between the transition to fine tune if you would like, and that is going to automatically update for you to the relevant frame. Really, really cool, really slick from Motion VFX there. And again, we have our flash, film dirt and grain within that transition. Most of these are going to have that same set of parameters there at the bottom with your flash, film dirt and grain. So why don't we check out one of our customs now. We've got custom crumple in, which is one that I used in the intro there. We have custom crumple out, custom picture, custom shift, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Slit, custom tear, and custom zoom swipe. So why don't we look at, as a matter of fact, it was actually the custom crumple out that I used. So why don't we just take a look at that? I'm going to drag that in between. And you can see here, we have some on-screen controls. So this is going to let you move your piece of paper around that is crumpling out. Now, what I did is I ended up setting a keyframe on this in the intro, and I was able to keyframe with one of the pieces of paper that I actually crumpled up and took. But you can see over here, there's your animation target. So if you wanted to fine tune that in your inspector with A and X parameters, you can see that here. We can flip the texture if we would like to do so, so that you can match if you're actually throwing a paper ball like I did, you can get that to match up a little bit. Again, the same A animation and A freeze frames, B freeze frames and colorization here. We've got our shadow and again, flash, film dirt and grain. So Motion VFX has made these really easy to use. So boom, it just kind of crumples out. Really cool. I'm going to delete that one and let's show you a different one. Why don't we do our custom shift, which is really neat. All of these customs are gonna have these on-screen controls and they all look a little bit different. So let me show you what's happening here. With this on-screen control, really cool. You are able to quickly select where you want that rip to be coming from and it's all gonna be automatic. Really quick, you can toggle that. And as a matter of fact, if you wanted to even keyframe that and you could have it look like, whoa, really cool, crazy looking if you wanted to do so. All right, then we have our, again, A freeze, our B freeze, our flash, film dirt, and grain. So all of these are going to have a really good cohesive look. If you make changes to where that's coming from, you can set it there and it's going to automatically work and animate from whichever side you have designated. So super quick, super easy, really a lot of fun. Let's continue down, show you a couple more. Now, a few of these do have something, as you see, we scroll over and you can see there is a drop zone inside of that rip. Now, there's only a few of these that do this, but I do want to go over really quickly how to use those. So why don't we just look at expose down. We'll click and drag in between. And you're gonna see that we have the down and then there's your drop zone. And then there's the next frame right here. So over in your inspector, your A animation, 
and your B animation is kind of in between those two, you're seeing the drop zone. All right, so if you wanted to apply something to this drop zone, you can go over and find inside of your clips and just click your drop zone and then find a video or frame that you want to use. I think maybe a tight shot here would be good. So I'm just gonna click that and apply clip. And then you can see, boom, your drop zone is now filled and that works out perfectly. If you want to make changes to the pan of your drop zone, you do so here right in the drop zone section. You can make changes to the scale if you would like. You can freeze or unfreeze. So if you wanted a video playing underneath, you could have that here. You can have your drop zone animation. So what's happening there is there's just a little bit of animation. You can see as it pushes down along with the paper rips. But if we turn that animation off, it's just going to stay still as those rip past. A lot of flexibility there. And then again, B animation, you've got your flash, film, dirt, and grain. So why don't we do one more? Why don't we look at the paste here? So let's click and drag in between our two clips. You can go here and you can see what's happening there. Pretty sick. Over in our inspector, we have our flip scrapped. So again, you can make changes to where you want those coming in and how they look depending on the composition of your shot. You can turn your tape on and off. You can adjust your tape opacity. And then the shadows and highlights. Again, your A animation and your freeze frame options, B animation and B freeze frame and then flash, film dirt, and grain. So that was a super quick look at the brand new plugin M Transition Paper Rip from MotionVFX.com. It is now available. We can't wait to see what you do with it. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.